Hey everyone, uh, Chris Mendez here, gonna take over this IG platform for uh, today. I'm a former ZT alumni and mentor on the Mighty Networks platform, if you guys are aware of that. Wanted to take over, uh, show you a little bit about my day, uh, what I do on a daily basis or almost a daily basis, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, the life of the network engineer, uh, kind of what, uh, what I do uh, first thing in the morning and you know throughout midday and, and sometimes in the evenings. Stay tuned for some exciting things. So some of the things uh, I like first to do is to come in and uh, this is our switch stack, our layer three core switches. Uh, make sure there are no you know amber lights or nothing flickering or something out of the out of the blue. Uh, just to make sure you know what uh, the day will uh, consist of and make sure nothing's breaking. Uh, it's kind of loud in here. This is our data center, uh, but this is what I like to do. Uh, you know, kind of swing down down by the basement. Now, I don't want you folks to think that uh, as a network engineer, you're gonna be doing help desk duties because uh, that's likely not the case. Um, I was just doing it and I occasionally do it simply because that's where I started. I have background in it. Uh, I started in support. So, you know, I'm able to do it and I like occasionally doing it as well. Uh, I don't mind it and I enjoy it. So, I don't think you're gonna be doing help desk duties as well as a network engineer. Odds are if you're not in the field already or you're trying to break into it, you're probably gonna start in the help desk side uh, just to get your feet wet um, and then just work your way up from there. But anyways, I have something cool to show you guys. Uh, gonna give you a little preview of what I'll be doing later today. Um, this is the fun stuff in network engineering, at least for me. So, if you guys can or cannot distinguish these boxes, they are switches. And all these will be deployed within the next month. Uh, as you can see, we have quite a few of them here as well, and all stacked. Later today, I will be show you, showing you guys, uh, you know, kind of, a, or I'll try to be showing you guys an unboxing, just a little preview of what I'll be doing later tonight. Now, part of being on the network engineering uh, field or on this, on this side of the spectrum uh, is that you're going to have to deal with... Uh, you likely have to have some sort of uh, hands-on on the VoIP system. As you'll probably know along the course, uh, you will learn some VoIP. Uh, granted, it's just, you know, kind of the standard uh, things as far as voice VLAN and, and QoS and, and simple things like that. But uh, once you get out on the field, you're going to have to or you're going to deal with different VoIP systems. As you can see here, um, where, where I'm at, we would deal with Mitel Connect or Mitel, uh, you know, other companies are going to deal with Cisco, others with Polycom, um, different different vendors. Uh, but a long story of short of it is that uh, you're going to have to deal with voice, and I deal with voice uh, on a daily basis, almost or almost uh, you know weekly basis, just because we're such a big uh, in big city, so we have to deal with a lot of a lot of voice. Uh, but once it once everything is in place, it usually stays that way, unless you have to make some minor changes or updates to it. But uh, that's uh, kind of the voice side of things. Uh, I will show you guys uh, some some of the phones that we have as well. This is one of the model phones that we have. Uh, this is an IP480 from Mitel. There's a, a 485, which is just exactly the same thing, only a color screen, and a 420, which is a little smaller courtesy phone version. Regardless, uh, these are the phones that we are dealing with. And, you know, you guys are going to deal with something similar uh, in the sense that you're going to... You know they have more features to it and you you can learn a system i've i've kind of got my hands dirty with this mitel system so i've uh you know learned a lot and how to build certain things but uh, on the networking side of things all you pretty much have to do is set up the switches your poe switches if they do support poe which most new switches do nowadays you're gonna have to uh, configure a voice vlan or, or you know depending on the vendor uh, you're gonna set up the switches a little differently but it all comes back to voice so you're gonna have to build you know, your voice VLANs and your DHCP uh, scope for your voice network, so on and so forth. Uh, but like I said, uh, different vendors are different uh, and they're gonna have to be you know, set up to how they support it. Just a little something for you guys. Voice is also a part of my daily thing and part of uh, networking that you'll probably experience as well. Uh, you know, Not probably uh, on a vast majority basis, but maybe just a little bit. So just an FYI for you guys. All right, everyone. So we're gonna unbox the first switch that we'll be doing tonight. Uh, we're gonna do a total of three. Um, 
as you can see, just in the usual switch box, or if you have never uh, unboxed a switch, you got your usual power cord. Uh, you know, you got your ears, some screws for the rack, some cable management in there, or some somewhat of a cable management. Uh, you're gonna use at least the ears portion of this. Um, so, you know, once we get rid of that, we have the switch itself. So as you can probably see, I need two hands to take this guy out, but uh, it's a 48 port switch, uh, 2960X uh, POE uh, with two SFP slots if you guys use, you know, fiber connections uh, in your network. So uh, I'm going to unbox three of these and uh, I'll show you guys how they look like once they're, uh, once they're out. All right, folks, you see those two stacking modules that are in there, the ones that say stack one and two on both switches? I'm going to have a little quiz with you guys right now. Uh, see if uh, you guys can figure it out and give the correct answer. Stay tuned. Going back to that quiz, if you chose option B, uh, which was to provide redundancy to the switches, you are right. The short of it is that those stacking modules basically do what they, what's in the word, they stack your switches especially with the 2960X models. Uh, this was one of the first questions I was asked when I interviewed. I didn't know it at the time, but it provides redundancy to your switches. In other words, if you have, uh, say for example, VLAN 10 across both switches, and one of your switches dies, but the other one is still alive, you can move ports either from the top bottom or bottom top uh, and still have access to those same VLANs because it's the same configuration for both switches. You just obviously you have one switch that's dead, but uh, and you'll probably have to make some minor adjustments to it. But it provides redundancy and it's pretty cool. We haven't had anything die on us yet, uh, knock on wood, uh, but that's what it uh, it does and it's pretty cool. Uh, you can stack up to four switches, I believe it is. I uh, could be mistaken uh, depending on the model. Uh, if you have like a, a, a layer three switch, you can stack up to maybe five or six. Uh, it, again, depends on the model, uh, but hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that little quiz. Maybe I'll have something uh, later on today, but I'm going to wait for these switches to boot up and I'll show you guys kind of a little quick uh, configuration that I do for these switches to minimize how much time I spend doing them. So stay tuned. So you saw in the previous picture that I have a, a template that I have and that I use to when I create this or build the switches. Uh, it's not needed, but it's something cool to have just so you can just copy and paste them into your switch rather than having to type each command out. I mean, as you can see in the CLI right here a little bit, um, it saves me all that trouble uh, to boot from that. And you know, here are the switches. So the config is nice to, or the template is nice to have. Uh, like again, it's not necessary but it, it'll save you a few minutes and you know once you once you have it uh, it's just a matter of copy and paste and let it do its thing uh, i highly recommend it uh, it'll save you some time uh, and you can carry it with you you know you can adjust it as needed and and so on and so forth but it's definitely helpful so that about wraps it up with the switch config for today i wasn't going to show you guys what goes on in the cli because it's it's a little bit confidential so i don't want to get in trouble for that or get an extra t in trouble for it but uh, in any case, uh, I will check back in later tonight as we're gonna rack these switches up and power them up and put them into production. And then you guys will see, hopefully, I don't have my hands full, uh, but I probably will just cause I need to rack them and, and so on and so forth. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little kind of a basic info, kind of redundant a little bit, uh, but it's just basically to show you guys what's going on here, uh, what I do and what uh, goes on as being a network engineer, uh, you know, a little, tips, little tricks here and there that you guys can take and, and apply it to you guys uh, whenever you guys are in your workplace or or in, you know, interviews or, or whatever the case may be. So hopefully um, I dropped some knowledge or at least a little bit. Uh, I'm sure I'll be checking back in uh, at different days, uh, you know, di doing different things. But I'll see you guys later tonight and uh, stay tuned. All right, everyone. So the new switches are in place. Uh, don't mind the cable mess here. Um, those have kind of been the story here, but new cables or new switches are racked and they are in production. 
be awesome, right? It doesn't take us long, but this is the fun part of network engineering. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for tuning into this Instagram takeover today. I uh, really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the day of a network engineer, uh, what it is to do what I do, uh, especially right now that we're in the middle of a few switch upgrades. But in any case, I uh, hope you guys had fun. We're going back to the ZTE course. I highly recommend it for anyone trying to break into the industry. I mean, I'll be straightforward with you guys. This is the course that really launched me. Uh, I took that course and then I went through the whole process and after that i knew what i wanted to do um, and like i mentioned earlier today i started in the help desk uh, odds are many of you will start there as well uh, especially with if you have zero experience uh, but hey you might get lucky and break into a junior network role it's not impossible uh, but that's where i started and i worked my way up there i just wanted to thank zte uh, again as i've done many times because uh because of them i landed where i'm at right now um, so, you know, thank you to everyone for tuning in. Hope you guys had fun. I hope, uh, you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, if you have any questions again, feel free to, uh, friend request me or send me a message, uh, underscore C does under 91 underscore. I don't even know my own username, uh, but in any case, uh, I'll put it right here and then I'll swipe up, uh, for any more information on ZTE, uh, and believe me when I tell you this, uh, they will help you out a lot. Uh, they will teach you everything you need to know and you you won't regret it i'll tell you that much uh so hope you guys had fun uh hope you guys have a good night oh and by the way one more thing just as an fyi and i don't want anyone to be scared but i'm just leave i just got home right now after a 12-hour day being in the it industry you can only do certain things after hours or before hours so you know it's just an fyi for you guys uh don't be don't think it's an everyday thing because it's not uh, but just as an FYI. Again, thank you again, everyone. I'll keep this, I wanted to keep this short, but apparently not. So thank you again. Hope you guys have a good night. Swipe up for more info. And just remember, it's time to level up.